I like it. Why? Why? <laughs> Excellent. You certainly seem to be a little more sober now. Yeah? <coughs> he ran out of alcohol by the time we got to the SCR. Turns out, fellows, big fans of St. Louis Basics as well. Speaking of which, let me introduce you to the one, to the only, Lord David Sainsbury! What? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you must be lodged in St. John somewhere. We well, must. He was rescued several hours ago. Who? <laughs> Why? The poor. See, when we hold up the story, it's all a cock and bull. They're only saying that. So we would go running around, breaking all the rules, setting your ass up. Which we did anyway. So as soon as we left, they went straight to St. John's, grabbed him, brought him back. They didn't get him pissed in the SER for the last four hours. Actually, he joined us at the Maple. We took him back to the SER afterwards. You mean to say, when we saw you in the fellow's garden, you knew where he was all this time, you didn't say anything? Well, I tried to, but that best interrupted with their dramatics. Your friend told me of your tremendous courage and efforts to save me. And in return, I decided to get you all into the SER for all night this time. You don't have to keep any drinking challenges this time? Yes, right. To the SER! To the SER! That's not fair. Sally had to complete a drinking challenge. Well, it's all right, Tom. I don't mind. I don't mean it's not fair for you. I mean it's not fair for us. We're not, we're no wusses. We're not soft. We, we can, we can drink as much as Sally any day. You mean you can. Me, Mike and Candy are just fine going unchallenged. And I've got to be honest, man. Sally and Lord S had to do a lot of persuading to make me leave without a challenge. You want to all special. Talk well, this is just absurd jealousy. And Francis, stop encouraging him. But John Bush boys are hilarious. I'd love to see him fail at a drinking jar. Except no. he won't fail. I'm no softy boy. I can drink as much as any girl. That's just sexist. I, I, don't, I can drink that. I drink as much as Sally, if I'm honest. Science! Bring me a bottle of port. Oh. Here we go. Fresher, fresher, fresher. There. You know, guess who was just here? Sasha Baron Cohen. He was amazing. Oh, no way. He's hilarious. He did an allergy and Bruno impression. I wish he'd stick around. Sasha? Sasha was here. We're like mates with Sasha. He would have surprised to join us later. Sasha, you were for rocking the SCR? Whoa, Sasha! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I am up for sexy time in SCR. Sasha, you all <laughs> where have you been? I spend time in cellar. I drink wine. I like. I like you. I, I like, like sex. sex. He's, He's nice. nice. I like <laughs> wine. <laughs> Whoa, so obviously the last clue was pretty cool. But how about the library clue? It's the first uninteresting number, which ironically, I found pretty interesting to solve. Wow, that's so clever, Mike. You remember what I said to you in the fellow's garden? Well, I still stand by that now that I am slightly more sober. <laughs> Not reverting back to speechless, Mike, are we? I like you too. I, I, I mean, I guess if you want to... Sally, wait! Before you go off with that, that mass mo, I'd like to proposition you with a, a night of passion. With me. I, mean, I disagree with your views on politics, but if we put those aside. Fuck off, talk. Yeah. And we can put aside your class roots and we can still have quite a lot of fun. Slap. Candy. You see, you know, we both like Downton Abbey, don't we? And we and we both cried together over William's emotional ridden death and 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 you study English and I speak English and I no. the same thing and Sally, Candy Do you remember when I touched your boob? It wasn't an accident. I really like your boobs. Let's go somewhere else and examine your boobs further. Oh, I don't think so. Slap Natsky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rich, clever and sexy. Take me. <laughs> You're tearing me apart. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you. 